Northwestern State soccer head coach George Van Linder. And coach, you had a good weekend, included uh, beating Prairie View A&M and uh, Jackson State by a combined score of 10 to zero. Yeah. Um, in that is Dania Gonzalez. She won Offensive Player of the Week for the Southland Conference on nine points. Just talk about her weekend, and then after her weekend, talk about the weekend as a whole team. Sure. She had a she had a great weekend. Anytime you can score, get nine points in a weekend, obviously you can say nothing but great things. And it was good. She's been working hard and had a lot of near misses in the games before, and it was just nice to see it all come together. It was a, a team effort. She did a great job with it, but we just finally everybody was clicking, and it was great with her up front to be the beneficiary of all of it. All right. Um, and just talk about – you know, being able to get the offense rolling and just being able to get it going. You, right now you're ranked 22nd in the country, but it's just now starting to seem like it's getting a flow to it. One thing we always say with our team, it's easier to destroy than it is to create. We always talk about how it's easier to tear down a building than it is to build a building. And we say the same thing with scoring and attacking. It's really hard to have to we have a lot of new players and for them to know what everyone's thinking and what they're doing, it makes it tough. And uh, it's kind of starting to click. And so we're starting to see the reward of that. So we're really excited because um, there's a lot of games left to be played, so the potential is really high. All right. Um, this weekend you start conference play. And before we get to who you're playing, I just want to look at conference as a whole. Talk about you know, what your goals are going into the conference at this point in the season. Sure. For us, it's obviously get to the conference tournament. That's the top six teams in the conference. Once you get in that format, anything can happen. So we really like our chances that we can get in that. But uh, the conference is a dogfight. It's a lot of, a lot of even teams and good games, so it's going to be a battle to be in that top six. All right. So Friday you play at Lamar, and then Sunday you come home at 1 o'clock to play Stephen F. Austin. You really start off kind of in a tough spot. You play in SFA, who who's, uh, was picked to win the conference, and then you got Lamar, who's always just a tough battle for the, for the Lady Demons. So just talk about Lamar and what you expect from them, and then move on to SFA. Sure. Lamar, we, we know the coaching staff really well there, and they're good friends of ours. And so that's kind of, a, it's kind of like battling your cousin or something that, in that aspect. So um, they're always an attack-minded program, and, and they, uh, they like to play, they do a good job of playing soccer. And they've uh, done a good job. They were in the conference final two years ago. So uh, I'm sure they're, they're a team also that does well as the season goes on. So it's a team that we're, we know they're going to be up for it. It's going to be a battle. It's always been a tough game, but uh, it should be a close, exciting game. But uh, we're looking forward to facing them. All right, talk about us face them. SFA, obviously a big school rivalry and uh, just a lot of ties with SFA as well. But And they're favored to win the conference. They've beat a Pac-12 team this year. They they tied a SEC team. They did had another close game against the SEC team. They're really on fire. They're doing great. They're kind of the flagship of the conference right now. But uh, that's a great opportunity for us. So hopefully we can go in, the, uh, we can get them here and get home and we can get a win. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.